Hi, I'm Randy. Hi, I'm Clark. And I'm Kat, and you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. Supercalifragilistic expialidocious Even though the sound of it is something quite atrocious If you say it loud enough you'll always sound precocious Supercalifragilistic expialidocious Well of course it's, it's still the old familiar story of the grumpy Mr. Banks and his happy-go-lucky children who are just looking for a nanny that can tolerate them and from the skies comes Mary Poppins and you know sets everybody straight and Everybody learns the moral of, of, of how to, uh, to live and love each other as, as a family, and of course they do. They put it in different songs, different parts, different characters. The movie was one of my favorites. It was one that I watched every day with my mom. I knew all the words, like Mary Poppins was my idol. I loved, you know, the kids and everything about it. And it was just kind of disappointing to see something different on stage, uh, like Mary Poppins first, and she was like a darker character. She wasn't as sweet and, you know, nice as she used to. I personally am not a fan of shows that recreate scenes um, verbatim because why bother? It's boring. So I liked the fact that they reworked it. They created new characters. Um, they gave a reason for showing it on Broadway. Otherwise, to me, there wouldn't be any reason. They made statues come to life instead of animals. The best number was actually um, Jolly Holiday with Mary, which, if you remember from the movie, is mostly Dick Van Dyke dancing with penguins, but they completely reworked that number so that all of the statues in the park come to life and start dancing with, with the children, and it was just beautiful. It just absolutely gorgeous. Loved it. Step in Time was so cool. Bert climbs on the ceiling, taps dances on the ceiling, like, just... There were a lot of really breathtaking moments in it. Um, the set was so cool. There was smoke and stars and buildings, and it was really cool, really well done. And they were able to have the, the roof fly off and the, and the kitchen rise up and sets turn around in a really brilliant manner. I, I, I thought they did a great job with that. There's a guy named Bud, and he's really poor, so he has different jobs every single day. Gavin Lee, who played Bert, though, did an excellent job, I think, with Bert. Completely, 100%. Dick Van Dyke, absolutely. Ashley Brown as Mary Poppins was very good in her role. Admittedly, she probably could have walked right off the stage from Beauty and the Beast, where she last performed, and basically done exactly the same show. I mean, she's dressed the same, she's got the same bun, her, the voice is the same. I like when she flew over us. When she flies away at the end, it's just like completely magical. This is not a show for uh, actors who are scared of heights. <laughs> Both Mary and Bert um, flew all over the theater and upside down and, and danced and sang upside down. It was quite impressive. I liked Mary Poppins a lot. I was a little disappointed because I sort of went in I will say not with an open mind. I was expecting the exact movie, everything I grew up with. Mary Poppins was probably one of my favorite movies, and so I was so excited to see it. And a lot of it was different. They definitely achieved what they set out to do, which, which was to make a spectacle that would thrill and enthrall um, children and and in doing so, um, you know, make them grateful to their parents for bringing to them to this wonderful uh, stage show and probably buy them lots of um, Mary Poppins umbrellas and t-shirts on their way out. Super